Alright, there's a lot of stuff going on with all this fighting stuff happening, with the boxing and all that stuff, and I just saw this video pop up called My Reaction to My Fight Against Slim, and it's by Faze Temper, and I'm super interested to just see what this video is about. Uh, once again, I still have yet to watch the fight, I still have yet to watch any clips from the fight, I don't know anything about it, uh, I do know who won and all that stuff against like all these different rounds and stuff, but... I haven't watched them myself personally, so, uh, once again, I may, I may do a reaction to that if you guys want me to, but let's go and watch this video, I'm super interested to see what, uh, Face Temper's gonna say here, let me subscribe, alright, let's go. What's up, guys, so, as, uh, many of you probably know, I lost a fight, and it wasn't- Okay, so who did, who did Face Temper fight? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, oh, wait, fight against Slim, okay, so he fought Slim, okay the result that we wanted but it is what it is and first first and foremost i want to congratulate slim and his team it was a good fight when i got you know knocked down i felt like i was ready to keep going i was genuinely yeah. ready to keep going so when they stopped the bout i was fucking pissed it just sucks because you know they had to stop it so this bout was uh technically a semi-pro bout it was sanctioned it was supposed to be sanctioned with pro rules but it was really amateur sanctions. Like, as soon as I got knocked down, they, they stopped the fight. Because if it was pro, it would have been, what, three? Three knockdowns? It depends state by state, but the official... Interesting. So, so there must have been something going on where, like... They, they were claiming it's something, but it's not. That's interesting, bro. I need to watch these fights, man. I seriously do. I need to watch them. I, I know. I'll get to it. I promise I'll get to it. I just need you guys to let me know in the comments which fight I should react to first. All right, let's go. Three knockdowns. It depends state by state, but the officiating is definitely different amateurs than professionals. Anyways, interesting. wasn't the result that we wanted. But listen, I think the thing that... I, I like his... um. I like his uh, attitude towards it, though. You know, even though he lost, even though uh, they may have been different rules than what he expected, uh, he's still, you know, he's still in it. He's still, he's still like ready to go for the next fight and ready to go for the next thing. So I really like that. It's definitely like one of those things where you need to be, you need to be in that way. So you don't get discouraged after a fight. You know what I'm saying? You need to be in that mindset so that even if you do lose a fight, you'll still have the want to continue. And if it's something that you genuinely want to do, then you most likely will. You know what I'm saying? Really went wrong for me tonight was the fact that I was watching Sensei's fight, you know, in the locker room training, and I wish I didn't do that. I really wish I just blocked out all, all, all the fights and I just stayed, and I was just stayed locked into to mm -hmm. my game plan. Because I truly didn't expect for Sensei to lose and definitely didn't expect for Sensei to get robbed the same way that I did. It was like deja vu. Just like the last fight that I had, versus, it was versus Kenny also. I got robbed of my victory. Sensei got robbed of his. And bro, when I tell you I was fucking heated in the locker room, I was genuinely so mad. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see how that would be like a an issue because in the locker room this is before your fight is going to happen you want to stay focused right i mean that's what i would assume you want to stay like is, is focused and, and ready to go and and keeping to yourself but i could see how that would like kind of mess it up a little bit where if you're watching someone else's fight beforehand you can kind of get doubts you can kind of get uh and then you know you can get angry at certain things like he did and that's going to mess with your emotions for the fight. So, you know, it's, it's not good going into your fight. So I, I definitely see that for sure. Three, since and once I, I don't know anything that happened. I don't know anything. I haven't watched these fights. I don't know. Uh, I, I might get to them soon. I just need you guys to comment down below what I should react to and which one I should start with. But, um, yeah, it sounds interesting, man. There's a lot of, like, concerns and stuff around this this whole boxing event. Like, I know FusiTube, he got some injuries. I know... Other YouTubers uh, and other creators kind of didn't like the way the rules were, as he's saying right here. And then just some other stuff as well. So there's a lot of controversy with this, this whole boxing thing. They got robbed of his. And, bro, when I tell you I was fucking heated in the locker room, I was genuinely so mad. When, when something like this happens, like, it just, 
like that unfortunately that moment deterred me from my focus it deterred me from mm. my game plan yeah and my game plan was just just simply to outbox slim and i know i could have done that but when that happened i was hitting the pads a lot harder i was just like dude i, I was genuinely extremely mad Mm. Yeah, I like how he's, I like that he's showing footage uh, from the actual thing, from the actual uh, what he's talking about. I think that's really cool. Um, he's being real, bro. Like he's being real with it. You know what I'm saying? He's not hiding anything. He's being real. And this is this is what he's doing right here. He's you know he's watching the game, right? He's watching the fight, and he's getting angry about certain things of the fight. And before a fight, you don't want to be in that mindset, right? I've never fought before. But I'm just assuming, right, that before a fight, you wouldn't want to do this. Like, this would be the exact opposite you'd want to do. So I can see where he's coming from, and I see what he's talking about. Now he's going so much harder, yeah. Hey, he kind of killing that though. I can't even lie. Slim was getting tired. My coach was telling me he was getting tired. Unfortunately, I got caught. And, and that's what happens when you fight with your emotions. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you don't stick to the game plan. Um, it's a lesson learned. You know, next time I'm, I'm in the locker room, I'm just going to stay locked in. I'm going to stay, stick to my game plan. I'm going to stick to, to fighting methodically, to fighting tactically, not fighting with my emotions. And uh, that's my biggest takeaway from this loss is to not fight with my emotions and to stick with my game plan because that's that's the reason I For got sure. caught. It's because I, I let my emotions get the best of me. One of the things that immediately went wrong before I even got in the ring was my walkout song. The walkout song I chose, the one that I had selected, didn't even play. Like they, I don't even know what the fuck song they played. Like I, I just, I was waiting for the trumpets. The song I picked initially was I'm Me by Lil Wayne. Well, that's weird. That's super weird, man. That's super interesting how he how he picked a song and they didn't play it. What? That's interesting. I wonder if they didn't play anyone else's as well, or like if there were certain people that they didn't play for. Maybe they played like their own song. I don't. That's weird, dude. They should have totally played that. I don't know. I was waiting for the trumpets. The song I picked initially was "I'm Me" by Lil Wayne, but they didn't approve it because it didn't get cleared because there's a lot of cussing. Mm. So I chose another Lil Wayne song right above it that got approved. And so, before I hear my name being called out, or like r right after they call my name, I'm waiting to hear the trumpets, like in the beginning of the song, and then I hear a completely different fucking song. That shit was just lame, you know? I'm not saying like mm -hmm. that had any impact on my fighting or anything like that, because it didn't, but that shit was whack as fuck, because I was, you know, like, I chose that song, I wanted to walk out to, to my song, and I didn't get to do that. You can't win them all, and, that, and that's life, you know? You know, boxing is like the most honest sport there is. You get caught slipping, you're going to get caught. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support, all the love. I've seen all the posts. I've seen you guys in person. And uh, all my friends, all my family, you know, my face family, you know, everybody, my coach, my team, my girlfriend. I love
That's what's up, dude. I, I like that he's having this positive attitude, uh, attitude towards the future. That's that's good. I love this shit, man. And uh, it's something that I, I feel like I just can't stay away from. It's just something that I've grown to love, and, and we're going to keep it rolling, you know? The only reason why you had this... A lot of people are actually going completely against him. He's, they're saying, with all due respect, you were not ready to keep on going. You barely got up and stumbled around. That was a clean... Call as you'll get in a professional bout. Interesting. Huh. A lot of people are going against him, bro. Yo, what's happening? I need to watch the fight. Maybe I just need to watch the fight. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not caught up with what's going on. This much anticipation is because of how well you did the first time. And so they threw you in there with a guy who literally has three times more experience than you have. And there was nothing that would have gave you any type of leeway in this fight you know what I mean like it was perfect for you to have this big weight on you but sometimes things happen you know interesting I mean? things happen and then we just come better from it that's how it is and you never know the way life is if life tells you anything something like this just make something else way better. Yo, let me tell you about what the fuck happened after the fight. I had to, I had to go pee in a cup. The Vada, like the people that do the drug testing and stuff, they like, they wanted me to pee in a cup to make sure I'm not doing any drugs for the second time. Cause I did it before I flew out here when I was clean, did it again. But this time, like I took a piss right before I went to go fight. And the guy after was like, yo, you need to pee in this cup. Bro, for like an hour and a half, I could not pee in this cup so if like i was there in the locker room for like 30 minutes that's crazy man imagine having to wait for that bro like just imagine having to wait for that that's so crazy dude that's that's a long time for something like that 45 minutes trying to fucking pee in this cup i couldn't fucking do it i didn't like i kept i just kept chugging waters and shit we wanted to go back to the hotel the guy said he, he would come back with us because you know he, he needs to uh get my pee in this cup like it's, just, it's his job so we went, came back to my room with him, drank like a, another water and had like a tea. And then finally, like after a full hour and a half, I was able to pee in this cup. It was the tea. And, uh, <laughs> was I'm sorry, yo. If you know, you know. Finally, like after a full hour and a half, I was able to pee in this cup and uh, it was cool. Uh, and then after you piss in the cup, you went to go pee like five times in an hour. Yeah. No, so I've, like everything I've, caught up I've already, I've already. It was the tea. What the like fuck is this four different thing? times. It's not an easy sport, and I think people like to criticize things that they don't have the courage to do. Mm. So any type of criticism that comes back your way, it's empty. That's true, though. So any type of criticism. That people like to criticize things that they don't have the courage. People like to criticize things they don't have the courage to do. That's a fact. To do. So any type of criticism that comes back your way. It's empty. No, nah, for sure. I ain't tripping, bro. I mean, 99% of people aren't going to step in the ring. That, mm -hmm. they, wouldn't, they wouldn't get into the ring with two people there, let alone 20,000. And um, Listen, end of the day, it is what it is. We're going to take this L and move forward, you know? L means a lesson. It's L as in a lesson, bro. And, uh, hey, yeah. turn that L into a lesson. Let's go. It is. Again, congratulations to Slim. Uh, it was a good fight. I really felt like had we continued, I would have got the better of him. But interesting, he got the better of me that night and or tonight. So it is what it is. Congratulations. Yeah, we're about to have a fun next. Uh, next, how, how long are we? Let's see. It's the twenty. About to be the twenty eighth. Tomorrow we're gonna to be going to Spain. I've never been to Spain. Gonna stop in Barcelona and probably hit some other spots. Um, I'm excited to go check out Macba because that's a legendary skate spot. I brought my skateboard, so you're gonna cool. see some uh, footage cool. of the kid. <laughs> Barcelona. Barcelona, man. And then uh, afterwards we're gonna go some to a different place. We haven't decided yet where, but. Should be should be fun, man. We're just gonna enjoy enjoy our time here. I haven't had like a vacation in a while, and I've been training rigorously with Wally day in and day out every day uh, 
for the last. Bro, we've been we've been going at it for. Yeah, really, stop. Be honest with you. For a long time now. Going at it for a long time. Um, but yeah, man, that that's been uh that's been it. I, I guess for this video, uh, there's really nothing else. Nothing else I really want to say. Thank you guys again. I fucking love you guys. And it's time to bounce back. Yes, sir. All right, yo, that was the video. Um, I really liked how he's, you know, he's keeping a good attitude about it. Even though he lost, he's keeping a good attitude about it. And he's he knows that he's going to come back better. He knows that he can work towards being something good. I didn't watch the fight. A lot of these comments are going against what he's saying. A lot of these comments are hating on him about it. Maybe maybe he didn't put up a fight. I don't know. I didn't watch the fight. But I, I will watch the fight at some point, okay? Some point. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. But, uh... Yeah, man, this video was good, dude. I like this video a lot. I agreed with a lot of the points he made. I agree with a lot of the points his friends made as well. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know why people would be hating so much. Maybe it was just a terrible fight. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, guys, like and follow for more, and I will see you in the next one.